Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. So, this is our second video for today. Persons have already started to report the video I posted earlier today. <laughs> my viewers, my subscribers, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. It's not as easy as many people might think, you know. If I was careless, this channel would have been shut down by YouTube already. <laughs> I have done a whole lot of research. I ensure that I study YouTube's policy. I try my best not to breach them again. <laughs> I have been threatened with lawsuits a lot of times. I still have not been served. Remember me tell you this. I am no easy pushover. Anyhow, <laughs> anyhow, let's not talk about me. Let's talk about the news. But before that, Tessita, you're a chef at Hedonism 2 in Negril. Tracy, tell me about you. <laughs> Big up your nice, clean self. All right, Tessita? Enough respect. Now, first up, I carried a story on Wednesday, January 25. I told you about that young man on your screen. His name is DeAndre Dryden. DeAndre is originally from Brighton in the Bluefields area of Westmoreland, but he was living in the state of Georgia. DeAndre, he was arrested and charged for the killing of a female. If you missed that story, I implore you to go back and watch it. There is the thumbnail on your screen. There are some interesting details in that story. I also told you that DeAndre, he used to get in a lot of trouble with the law and he usually give the police his older brother's name when he get into any trouble. In fact, DeAndre, he was charged for giving the police false name and he was jailed for it. His brother's name is Delva Dryden and Delva, he's a past student of Manning School in the parish of Westmoreland. We are told that Delva, he's in his mid 20s. We are told that Delva, he was honest, hardworking, and a humble human being. He, we are told, is the complete opposite of his brother, DeAndre. Well, yesterday, news broke that Delva died. It is suspected that he died from a heart attack. Sad indeed. Condolences to the family and friends of Delva. May his soul find rest. Now, that man on your screen, his name is Romelo Williams, but he was popularly known as Milo. Milo celebrated his 28th birthday on Boxing Day, just gone, December 26. Milo, he's originally from Grangeville in the parish of Westmoreland, but he was living with his grandmother at West End in Negril in the parish of Westmoreland. Milo, he was employed at a popular hardware in Negril. We are told that Milo, he suffers from schizophrenia. For those who don't know, schizophrenia, it is a serious mental disorder in which people interpret reality abnormally. Schizophrenia may result in some combination of hallucinations, delusions and extremely disordered thinking and behavior that impairs daily functioning and can be disabling. People with schizophrenia they require lifelong treatment so milo he suffers from schizophrenia we are learning that from time to time milo he could be heard saying he's tired of living and working and he wants to die the last time milo was heard saying that was about nine o'clock friday night february 24 we are told that this was what milo said to his grandmother at their home at West End in Negril. He told her that he's tired of working, he's tired of living, and he prefers to die. Milo, he then left to his bedroom. We are told that Milo, he's a man who normally wake up early to go to work. He wasn't seen yesterday morning. Checks were made in his room and he was not seen. Checks were also made at the hardware where he works, but family members were told that Milo, he did not show up for work. As a result, a missing persons report was filed 
at the Negril Police Station. About some minutes after 4 o'clock yesterday afternoon, Saturday, February 25, 2023, a body was seen floating in the sea, right in the vicinity of the Rock House Restaurant and Bar at West End in Negril. The police were informed and the body was taken out of the water by Marine Police. The man, who appeared to be dead, he was dressed in a black, yellow and green shirt. A black shirt and he was barefooted. We are told that blood was seen coming from his mouth and his nostrils. The body was that of none other than Romelo Williams, popularly known as Milo. The police, they are saying that no marks of violence was found on Milo's body and it is suspected that Milo, he took his own three points. Sad indeed. Now, before we started recording this video, we received information that a man, he's popularly known as Laffy, he was shot and killed at a guest house in Duncan's in the parish of Trelawney. This took place this morning, minutes after 8 o'clock. Now, I'm gathering all the details and we are going to be updating this story in a subsequent video. Stand by for that. The mayhem. Now, over in the parish of St. James, listen this one. <laughs> it took place last night, Saturday, February 25, 2023, about 10.30. It took place at Tucker in the parish of St. James. Now, what we are learning is that a couple... The female's name, well, she's popularly known as Charmaine. She's about 40 years old and it is said that she runs a bar in the area. The man, his name is Sheldon Campbell, but he was popularly known as Pong. Pong is about 35 years old and he was said to be a mechanic. Both of them were living at a house at Tucker. We are learning that Pong, he was very jealous and abusive and may I talk about Verbally and physically abusive. The least little thing, it is said that Pong, he started to fight Charmaine. I am told that he has even used a knife to cut her up in the past. Well, last night, they were at home arguing when that argument led to a fight. What did Pong do? He grabbed a knife and he started to juke up, juke up Charmaine in her head. Even when she was bleeding, Pong him still a rain jokes on Charmaine. Charmaine, she managed to run off into the yard, but Pong, he chased her. Charmaine, she managed to bend down, pick up a stone and make one fling at Pong, who was charging at her with the knife. The stone connected Pong in his head. He fell to the ground and that was it for Pong. Both Pong and Charmaine, they were taken to the Cornwall Regional Hospital where Pong, he was pronounced D-E-A-D and Charmaine, she was treated. <laughs> ah boy. In this next incident, it took place this morning. Sunday, February 26, 2023, about some minutes after 12 midnight. It took place at Belvedere District in the Betheltown Police area in the parish of Westmoreland. Now, what we are learning is that residents of the area they heard a barrage of gunshots being fired. A few minutes later, fire was seen coming from a house. That one apartment concrete house, it was occupied by a man named Andrew Adrian Smith. He is 33 years old and he was said to be a farmer. As a result, the police were called. When the police reached on the scene, we are told that the house was still on fire. A unit from the Montego Bay Fire Department arrived on the scene shortly after and they put out the fire. But by this time, the house and its contents, they were completely destroyed by fire. Checks were made and Andrew Smith, he was seen lying on the floor on his right side under a bed. He had about five gunshot wounds to his head. We are told that Andrew he was burnt, but he was recognizable. From all indication, Andrew was killed and the hoodlums then set the house on fire. We are told that when this crime scene was processed, six 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem. The me so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. 
have your hit and the love button as yet. If you have not yet done so, remember to do it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button. As also, hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we drop a new video, you will be the first to be notified. In the final story for today, this one took place this morning. Sunday, February 26, about 4.30. It took place at Garland's District in the parish of St. James. What we are learning is that the St. James Police, armed with a search warrant, they carried out an intelligence-driven operation at Garland's. They had gone in search of a man known as Marlon. We are told that intelligence was obtained that Marlon he is in possession of illegal guns and he has been firing a lot of shots in the area. On reaching the house where Marlon lived, the police, they are claiming that they were greeted with gunfire. The police, they are saying that they took evasive action and returned the fire. When the smoke was cleared, the house was searched and a man, he was seen suffering from gunshot wounds. The police are also saying that a Glock 9mm pistol with the serial number intact, affixed with a magazine containing 10 rounds of 0 .40 cartridges, were found beside this man. From all indication, he died on the spot. This man, he was identified as the father of Marlon, who the police had gone in search of. His name is Donald Green, but he was popularly known as Doc. On May 18 this year, Doc he would be celebrating his 63rd birthday. It is said that Doc, he was a farmer and he lived at Garlands. We are told that in the come, they are carrying out investigation into this fatal shooting. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Popeye News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like. Subscribe and share. Oh, we care. We sing. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. Hey, crime with a mash up Jamaica. Criminals them a mash up Jamaica. Jamaicans mash up Jamaica.